Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to be talking about designing low content books using software that I haven't mentioned before, but is an excellent tool for designing your book covers. And it is called Fotor. And I'm excited to share that this video today is sponsored by Fotor. Fotor is an excellent graphic design tool that is a lot like Canva, but the main difference is that it is a lot cheaper than Canva. So if you're looking to get into graphic design, get into designing all your low content books, but you kind of want something that's a little bit cheaper to start testing the waters and getting a feel for design, then Fotor is an excellent choice for you. And they have a lot of book cover templates that Canva doesn't have. So let's get into the video. All right, as you can see, we are now inside Fotor on my computer. And this is just the home page. What we're gonna wanna do to get to the book covers is come over and click on templates. All right, so as you can see, we are now inside templates and looking at it, we've got a bunch of different options, social media, marketing, education, events, all sorts of different stuff. But what I'm gonna wanna click on is life. And now that I've done that, we've got another selection of options, photo collage, wallpaper. I could keep going, but I'm gonna stop at book cover. And now we've got the whole selection of book cover templates a bunch of different options. One thing I do want to note is that most of these templates are going to be more for novels, high content books. So when it comes to making them more like notebooks and low content books, you are going to have to adapt a bit more, but a lot of these templates are easily adaptable. So it's not really something to worry about. I'm going to pop over to children's and take a look and I'm going to just go ahead and click on this one just to open the editor. All right. So now I am inside the editor. It's currently set as a book cover. I deleted the dog already and everything just so I can pick a different one and I am going to start looking through we have education photography children's story fashion so again a lot of these are very focused on high content but there are some that would make cute notebooks I'm gonna hop over in story and see if I can find anything in here so you can see we've got a bunch of options very very pretty but the one I think I like is this one. I think this would make an adorable dream journal cover. So I'm just going to adapt it. So the first thing that I'm going to do to adapt this cover is first off, we have to resize it because this is just the cover part and we want the whole wraparound cover. So we're also going to need to include the spine and the back cover, but this is just the front. And to do that, I'm just going to hop over and press this button to resize and then press custom size. So I'm going to be creating a six by nine notebook and I am gonna have it be 120 pages. I already know that the dimensions for it, I'm gonna want it in inches, is gonna be 12.52 width by 9.25 height. So we can either copy and resize it, but I'm gonna just resize it. All right, now it's resized. The first thing I'm gonna do is just select this whole thing and just push it to the side out of the way really quickly, making sure it's in the middle. The first thing I wanna do is find the middle because I need to define like where the spine is so I can know exactly like where the middle of the cover is. And to do that, I'm gonna hop over to elements. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of different fun elements to choose from, basic shapes, lines, illustrations, icons. Fotor has a bunch of elements similar to Canva, just kind of different. And uh, they've got a lot of fun ones. So this is great for design. But what I'm just gonna do is come over here to lines and just go with the simple basic one. I'm going to make it so it's a perfect straight line and then find the middle. Okay, here's the middle. Now I'm gonna change the line thickness so it's close to the size of the spine, which I think it would be about 15 or so, probably a little less. Let's go with 14 and split the difference. Okay, and now we're gonna to wanna to make sure it's in the middle. There it is, bring it all the way down. And so there is the spine of our book. It might not be perfect, but we're just going for like really, really close. And then if I need to, I can always just put it inside KDP. And then if it just looks kind of off, I can just recenter it and upload a different image. But anyway, so now I'm going to put this into the middle. And one thing to note is over here on this side, we're gonna wanna make sure that there is more room on this side than there is room between the design for the cover and the spine because there's gonna be some cutoffs. You don't want any design or text over here just in case Amazon ends up cutting it off when creating your book. So I think I'm gonna put it like around here. I think that might be good, let's see. So let's say it's about there. I'm gonna move it over just a tad bit more. Okay, 
perfect. So I think that this is super duper cute. What I'm gonna do first is just remove the author. We don't want that. I'm trying to decide if I want this little subtitle here, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just going to type in my dream journal. Super cute. Right in the middle. That's adorable. I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger just so that it's kind of more like, okay, that's a little too big. Maybe like this. All right, as you can now see, I stuck it right in the middle and I also made it a little bit smaller just because it felt a little large. And now what I'm gonna wanna do is add to the back cover. I'm just going to copy this and bring it over so it's basically a mirror image. So right about there. And I'm just gonna delete my dream journal, this whole section of text. There we go. And that is pretty much it. And then when we delete the spine, it'll look a little something like this. Honestly, I think that this looks super duper cute. And now what I'm going to do is download it and I'm gonna upload it to KDP so that you can see what it looks like and how the dimensions came out. I've been staring at the word journal for a long time and the more I look at it, honestly, it's just a really funny looking word. All right, everyone, as you can now see, I am right inside of KDP and my journal has pulled up. I'm currently in the print previewer and honestly, like it looks perfect. It looks super duper cute and I think I got it like right in the middle. Like here are the sides, like that's practically the middle. It looks super duper cute. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and approve it. All right guys, that about wraps it up. As you can see, Photor is an excellent graphic design tool and it is a great alternative to Canva if it's just a little bit too pricey for you and you want something that has pretty much all the same features but without the high price point. So I would highly recommend it. And if you wanna go check out Photor, just go to the link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you could smash that like button and subscribe subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I would super duper appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.